This is Emmanuel. This is where I've been living. There was a fire here today. I was renting a room here at 1315 Point Dexter. There was a fire here today. And I'm figuring out my next move. Where am I going to go? Fire marshal says that we can't be here. They're putting this red label on the door right here, that orange label, which means Which means electrician has to come. Oh, I'm going to hurt. I want to get hurt. Before we can go I'm back in. Really. So this has been the journey of the Manuals Hope Foundation. It's been a struggle, but just know I will not stop. I won't stop. I was actually on the radio this morning at WPCE uh, with my friend Khalil. I was also uh, with my friend the Bishop. WPCE radio station and we won the Power Shift grant in AACP Damon John that was last night day or so ago but um things look good but things are not always the way they appear and I thank God that I don't look like what I've been through and what I am going through yes Here's Emmanuel's Hope Foundation. There's a fire marshal there. Emmanuel's Hope Foundation truck. Right here on the side, as you can see. And that's my car there. And let's take a look and see what's going on. Let's flip this camera around and just see what what I mean. This is um, Point Dexter. And behind the house, before I was renting the room. Is where people take shelter and rest, homeless, right behind the house I was living in. The shed clearly. So, this is real, this is real life. This is what it's like. It's been a rough journey. I'm still going through, but I'm thankful that I don't look like what I'm going through and what I've been through. God is awesome. I thank and praise him. I worship him and I glorify him. And this too shall pass. But I will continue to pray, praise, and press, and I will always be on a mission on behalf of our seniors to ensure that they're able to remain prideful about home ownership. Emmanuel's Hope Foundation, we will be nationwide. And every senior in America that's living by themselves and physically constrained and financially constrained, there will be someone there to ensure that you're able to stay in your home and be prideful about it, be safe, and enjoy your latter years. God bless.